What's up guys, this is Nuke and I'm back uh, with my third lesson, which is Good Riddance by Green Day. This is one of the first songs I ever learned. Um, you know, I've always loved Green Day. This song has four chords. The chorus is different than the pre-chorus, which is also different than the verse, but it also uses all the same chords. So it's not that complicated. Um, and there's a kind of a unique picking pattern in it, which is a good skill to pick up. So let's hop into it. Hey guys, first chord in Good Riddance by Green Day is G major. Um, this one, he's using his ring finger in addition to his pinky. On some of my other videos, I've showed you G major without the ring finger, uh, or basically without a finger on the B string. So he adds a finger on the B string, and I think this is a G add nine, uh, but the main purpose is it's, it's a G major, it's very popular, just like the other version. So. Um, you take your ring, your middle finger, put it on the third fret of the top low E string. That's a G. Index finger on the second fret of the A string, which is a B. And you put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, which is a D. Um, and then you put your pinky on the third fret of the high E string, which is also a G. So that all together sounds like. This version of the chord is a little more full sounding, um, and the picking pattern I'll show you later kind of makes it sound a little more full. <clears throat> Hey guys, second chord is a C add nine, which is a C major chord, just a different variation. Um, very popular in, in pop songs and rock songs, any type of song really. Uh, and the only difference between the G add nine I showed you earlier is he moves his middle finger and index finger back a string. So what that looks like is middle finger on the third fret of the A string, which is a C, then index finger on the second fret of the D string, which is an E, then ring finger on the third fret of the B string, which is a D, and then pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string, which is a G. So with this, he's only picking the string starting with his middle finger. Alright guys, third chord in Good Riddance by Green Day is a D major chord. So you will put your index finger on the second fret of the um, G string, which is an A. Then you'll put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, which is a D. Then you'll put your middle finger on the second fret of the E string, which is an F sharp. And you'll just strum these last four strings. All right guys, the fourth chord used in Good Riddance by Green Day is an E minor chord. Um, so he uses his middle finger on the second fret of the A string, which is a B note, and his ring finger on the second fret of the D string, which is an E note. Um, so you just play where the string's starting with the middle finger, and that's an E minor. So the strumming pattern, this is a little bit more interesting than strumming patterns I've done in the past. It is exactly the same, the classic down, down, up, up, down, up, except on the verse only, he is picking this first string of whatever chord he's playing. So, for example, the verse is G major, G major, C add nine, D major. So, basically, he's going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and just the A string, down, down, up, up, down, up, to the D string, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you're only single picking these first three strings as you go through the chords. So 
it's G major twice, then C add nine, then D major. So full speed, that looks like. So he's only doing that on the verse. Um, on the chorus and pre-chorus, he doesn't do that. He just strums the down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, pre-chorus. So in the pre-chorus, um, so I'll, I'm gonna play through the verse real quick and then we'll, we'll start the pre-chorus. Okay, so with the verse he plays it through twice. So G major, G major, C, D, G major, G major, C, D. And then instead of going back to G, he goes to E minor. Um, but so the rhythm stays the same because if you remember, he's playing those G majors twice. So he's just playing E major once, and then goes to D major, and C major, and G major does that twice so okay all right guys so the chorus after that last uh, G major the pre-chorus he goes back to E minor um, so this is uh, he goes E minor to G major E minor to G major E minor to D major to G major. So it's a little bit confusing, um, but once you get the pattern down, the, the strumming is basically all the same. Um, so when you go to the chorus from that last G major on the pre-chorus, just do down, down, up, up, down, up, G major, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, G major, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. D major, down, down, up, up, down, up. B, G major again, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that sounds. I'm going to play through the song all together so you get a sense of how it goes from verse to pre-chorus to chorus. Um, so remember on the verse, those first two, uh, he's doing that pick. So uh, I'm just going to play it for you slow and then I'll do it faster.